We just got back from Rome where we ate some of the most delicious food that we have ever eaten. But it got us thinking, what exactly was food like in ancient Rome? What did the Romans eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What were their favorite foods? The thought was fascinating to us, so we decided to take on a challenge where we eat like ancient Romans for 24 hours. But before we set out the banquet tables, there's one thing that we have to do first, and that is grocery shopping. Obviously, ancient Romans didn't have modern grocery stores, but they did have several items that we would find today. Apples, pears, pomegranates, lettuce, cabbage, figs, poultry, pork, and of course, wine. You have no idea what we're making or eating, and I, I like knowing something that you don't know. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Authentic ancient Romans. A good Roman eat uva and yes. sticky. Good job! Perfect! Great the dark uva. Yes. Because I remember. That's all. I made a meal plan around cookbooks from Virgil, Apicius, and Cato. So let's go home and start cooking. Did you know that the Roman, ancient Roman, was doing ricotta? Did I know? Yeah. That's why I got the ricotta. I know, but do you know that they was doing it at that time? Uh, I didn't before I did my research. Me too. <laughs> so I'm surprised. I'm. Uh... Oh yeah, they did ricotta like a lot. Their yeah. most popular ones were ricotta and pecorino romano, but they had a lot of different cow milk cheeses and sheep milk cheeses mm. early version of cheesecake did you know this was one of their most uh holy breads that they made this no. was the bread that they used to sacrifice to the gods they made it all the time and it was considered a very um godly recipe mm. so don't make fun of it to make into bread, place leaves beneath and cook slowly on a hot hearth under an earthen pot. Smell really good. The, the berry leaves. Yeah. The recipe I saw said that the dough was going to be really, really wet. So I think I did it right because this is like super wet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to try and make it into a little ball like I, as best as I can. But, okay. Now we decorate with the pie nuts. This is, no, smell. Oh, mint. Yes, it is for remove the bad spirit. The Roman was doing it. <laughs> I'm still here. Go away, spirit. <laughs> there better not be any spiders on that one. Did you wash it? I put it. Look at me. Okay, let me try. No, I, I don't have enough. No, I need to do this. I don't have enough control. And here we have the gift from Cleopatra, Mita. 
Miccia? Ok, niente. Miccia. Alessio is shocked by how much uh, we're eating. But I have to remind you, Amore, that we're eating like the the rich people. Okay. Like If you were poor, we were eating like this. A nice raw an apple, apple. Some bread and some cheese or something like that. Probably. If oh, they, but they did have meat too. Like. If they are lucky. Well, we are emperors. Right. Tonight. Tonight. From the garden, <laughs> people go hunt. I feel like I just cooked Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what we have on the table. So this is dinner. This is the big feast of the day. This is the most important meal for the Romans. Okay. Yeah. This is where they went big. I couldn't get you any flamingo. <laughs> couldn't get you any peacock. And apparently the biggest delicacy of ancient Rome was a dormouse. And I couldn't get any of those either. So we have roast chicken. Yes. Which they also ate. So we're right on <laughs> target with that. With leek prepared in the way of apicius, apicius, I'm not sure how to say it, but leek has been boiled and then sauteed in oil. We have asparagus, also cooked by the ancient Roman cookbook method with a little bit of nutmeg on top. We have our fruit, which we have figs, pomegranates, grapes, all things that they would have eaten, some nuts, pistachios, olives, this bread, pecorino and parmigiano cheeses, which also they would have had. And then for dessert, we have our ricotta cake that we made earlier. So first of all, you know this because we have none on the table, but we are. <laughs> yeah, we obviously have to lie down and eat. Servant. You're missing something very important. Servant. No, no. <laughs> this, a pillow for your arm down there. God, yeah. 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 Ooh. So. By the way, this is man, and no, actually we just take from the garden and they don't have man on the table. It was cute, right? But they did have spices and herbs and flowers on the table, you actually. See, I'm from Rome. Yeah. Actually, they would spread, sprinkle flower petals on the ground to prevent food poisoning. But I didn't get any flowers, so we're on our own. <laughs> right? Sorry, but why we have the spoon? They so, use the fork. <laughs> they didn't use forks at all. They use their hands to eat. They would use a sharp knife to cut like the chicken. So your job is to cut the chicken, but then we have to eat it with our hands. <laughs> and this? No, not. <laughs> I don't think that they, maybe they use two knives. I don't know. I want to broke them with my hand. Well, that would have been appropriate. Let me see, I'm Roman. <sighs> Need to be aggressive but right. they would have cut it into like finger bite-sized pieces so it was easier for like first you cut it with like you're doing oh okay but you don't put the whole chicken on the plate no. you cut it in small pieces and then yeah yeah and then with the spoon it's really helpful <laughs> actually it's not bad to use the spoon really it kind of helps you small pieces let's not yeah. let's, let's do that for now ho, 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 ho. oh we need to say something yeah, tell me. We have water because the Romans drink water with, they do spritz, apparently. Yeah. They never drink like straight wine. They always mix it with water. Yeah. Who, who know that? To so prevent they, dehydration so they could drink longer into I mean, the night. Rome capital before Rome was in Friuli, Aquileia. Hmm. So uh, we do spritz. I think it was more dark. I know. Yeah, like It's that. like this, like yeah. Friuli, right? To us, to Rome. Cheers. Actually, most of the food in ancient Rome came from Sicily and Sardinia. So the fact that we're drinking Sardinian wine Sardinian is wine. authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Authentic. You might see this weird 
sauce on the table. Yeah, it is. Uh, so they were obsessed with fish sauce in ancient Rome. What? No, <laughs> they put it on everything, even their desserts. Pompeii was a huge exporter in Amore. The closest thing we have is this Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. They put it on everything. Their bread, their vegetables, their meat, their desserts, their cakes. And they were obsessed with it. And But the, it was one of the only things that wasn't divided by class. Like even the poor people could have as much of the oh. garum as they wanted. Oh, so for everybody. Yeah. They made it by taking anchovies, so achuge, and the guts of other fish and the heads and everything, and putting it in pots out in the sun and letting it fermentation. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Pop one. You're having too much fun with this. I started liking it. Actually, this would be a fun thing for families to do with little kids one day, like have an ancient Roman yeah. dinner, switch it up, don't eat at the dinner, dinner table anymore, everybody lies down and eats around the table. Wouldn't that be fun? Amore, break the bread. Yeah. You're not allowed to use a knife with the bread. No, because Just it's... Just hands only can touch the bread, otherwise uh, it's bad luck. I know, it is uh, the body of the crisp. Bread always with the hands, mm -hmm. never cut with the knife. Cut the cheese. You're, you cut the really cheese. Good at it. <laughs> and the pecorino is actually pretty good mm. to be from the US. Yeah. Supposedly they said it's from Italy on the package, but you know, how much can we trust that? They go really well. Did the Senate try and stab you and overthrow you? Of course. <laughs> That's why I go really well. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you home, darling. Yeah. Who knows <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow? It can go well. How do you feel like this relates to a modern day Italian meal? Well, the food looks the same. It's pretty we, typical, we, right? Yeah, it's pretty typical. I'm excited to try that little cake over there and see because that's the most recipe out of all the recipes I tried today. No, Marie, don't pick it up. Put it back down. This is an offering for the gods. When they dropped food on the ground, it was claimed by the gods, so you can't pick it up. What the hell? <laughs> Anything that falls on the ground is claimed by the gods. And actually, they would even make mosaics, tile work in the floor of pieces of fallen food so that it looked like it already. That's why your mom say, see, all the moms say, eat in you know, your plate. So if you fall down, it's in your plate, you can pick up. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that sometimes in really long banquets, they would eat so much that they would go into a room next door and vomit everything up so they could come back in and <laughs> keep eating? <laughs> they had rooms specifically for that. I go vomit the food and go come back to it again. Yeah. Of course, the vomit you cannot pick it up, right? <laughs> no. Oh no. God.
my gosh. <clears throat> we made a huge mistake. Why? We didn't put the fish gut oil on the chicken. You mean the fruit? <laughs> they did it on everything. I don't know why. They loved it. Actually, give a touch there. Something, right? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. This was like one of their most prized things. Oh, go with everything. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> a grape? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> Garum. Garum. So we have our sacrificial cake. We're supposed to leave it on the altar of the gods, but they also ate it as well. So let's get a shot of the bottom. And then I put honey on part of it because they were crazy about their honey too. I don't know why, but they put honey on everything. Dance. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. Not bad dessert. It's not very sweet, which is probably why they put the honey on it, because the little piece that has the honey is really good. But it's actually, it's a weird texture. It's really dense, like dense bread. But it's not bad. I want another bite. It's good. Yeah. I don't know what remember me, but... Something. Reminds me of something, too. You're not supposed to eat that part. To the gas. <laughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno. So? What's it? It's time for breakfast in ancient Rome. So? Flour. flour. We're making pancakes. Pancakes? Yeah. They're eating pancakes? Yeah. They're really simple. It's just flour, wheat, and honey. It's totally stuck. It's time to change pen. The gods is speaking. <laughs> well, why is it talking like that? Emperor thinks he can do a better job than me, so he's taking over. You see? <laughs> this is better. <laughs> Romans, they don't was looking fancy. This. Oh, look how beautiful is the circle. Oh, they was doing pancakes like this. <laughs> There was like, like a scrambled eggs. I got you. Wow. Cosa c'è? That looks delicious, am I right? Yeah. Buon appetito. Yeah, so what they was eating, fruit? They had these pancakes yeah. or bread and fruit. They didn't have coffee. So you would have some more watered down wine, but they might add some spices to it. Or you drink water and vinegar. God, what? <laughs> Don't forget your pancake topping. No. Yeah, they put it on everything. I'm gonna... die. For breakfast, but the breath, the, the speed. <laughs> Fishy. Of course, get this. Just it's... pretend it's maple syrup. I, <laughs> I mean, last night it was great, but in the morning you don't feel this stuff. You feel just coffee yeah. and... Yeah. <laughs> even in the morning. <laughs> it's good. Even in the morning. <laughs> even in the morning, I can't believe it. It's nice. I don't think I cooked mine all the way. No, yours is the same. It's like really doughy. 
Die. What is that two I drops? Think that oh, okay. The same thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> smells like burgers. Okay. It's making different. <laughs> That actually goes really well. It makes it really appetizing. Yeah. And I have a nice glass of water with vinegar. <laughs> Let me say, um, dinner was wonderful, but breakfast has not been my favorite. <laughs> it's like the sweet and the salty go together for now i need to go to the congress oh great good luck and then come back home for lunch right yeah yeah it'll be ready for you i like this life <coughs> this position is the best <laughs> for you. all I right go, cesare i will put my tunica okay see you to lunch see you at lunch For the gods. <laughs> it's not as easy to do this as I thought. So all the ancient Roman recipes, they don't say anything about how much of things to put in. They Italians, just, they never say. <laughs> they just feel with the heart, yeah. you know? So I'm just kind of gonna make it up as I of go. Of course. Of course, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, I go make me go stab. See you later. So, <laughs> what do we have for lunch today? Our trusty garum sauce. Okay. This is a cheese paste that we put on the bread. It's made from pecorino, garlic, coriander, and celery seed. This is our special cabbage salad. It's supposed to be the oldest salad recipe in Europe. Cabbage, vinegar, coriander. This actually is supposed to be a medicine. They used to say that this cured headaches, upset stomach, and drunkenness. Wow. So I made it for you. <laughs> now we've got fruit, carrots with cumin and mint, another recipe from the old Roman cookbook. And for lunch, they would have cold meat, pretty much leftovers from what they ate for dinner. So cold meat, no warm up. Cold meat, they said. Perfect. So just whatever was left over from the night before. Yeah. And we're missing the wine. Oh yeah, more wine with water. Yeah. I think I'm a little bit over it. So. <laughs> hmm. Chewy, but it's delightful, actually. Oh. I love it. Oh wow. Good? The mint is refreshing. Mmm. 10 of the 10. Really? Yeah. The carrots are that good. What the hell is this? Carrot, eh? <laughs> carrots, mint, and cumin, vinegar. Wow. Man, these Romans know what it's like. <laughs> no, really. This is my best experience. I'm scared about that cheese, garlic, but you go for it first. <laughs> okay. Ready? Terrible. Um, no, it's delicious, but it's strong. But you're gonna like it, but it's strong because of the garlic. And I only put one clove when they told me to put like five cloves in there. Oh, that's good. That was really good. Try the cheese. I tried the cheese. Try the cheese. 
It's strong. Pretty good. I feel the garlic all over the place, but... <laughs> but it's good, right? The carrots with the mint, I think it's... Uh, the best. No, it is the last to eat after this. Now, you know, they use another thing for kill the garlic, the, uh, the theme. Oh, thyme. Thyme. So you kill the garlic... Um, you chew thyme mm. leaves. Roman. People. I love you. Why did they hold it like this? To take the pictures. It's a room. Do it for the gram. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so they can painting it to be Instagrammer in future. No You're wrong. Right. It is very aesthetic, like with the Italian hand evolved from the gods. You're not gonna get this grapes, but. <laughs>